What is going on guys? Riot here playing Ark Survival Evolved. Today showing you guys some of the coolest mods that you should definitely add into your server or into the server that you play on. I know I always say that in pretty much every video, but I have a wholehearted feeling about these. The first one is the Warthog mod, the freaking Halo Warthog. Anyone who's ever played Halo knows what the Warthog is. There's certain campaign missions you couldn't have completed without it. I can think of a specific one at the end of Halo 3. Obviously, it's much lowered to the ground, much more than it should be. Um, the mod dev is still working on it. It's brand new. He said that to fix this, this solution isn't really something you'd apply to a game, but you just want to spawn it, or not, just spawn it in a bunch of times. Because you can't create it either. You have to spawn it, and then eventually, after spawning it in enough times and restarting your world, it'll spawn perfectly. But I don't play that shit, so I'm just going to deal with this, like, glitched out warthog. So we have the Warthog, which, um, freaks out if you run into it. Of course it's not gonna do it. Oh yeah, there we go. See, it's kinda glitching my game out a little bit too. It's, it's very fresh, as you can see. That's not the most realistic effect on running next to a Warthog I've ever seen, but I'll take it. So we have this beauty, which, um, by the way, know at this point in the mod that the, the turret does not work. You can't use it, it's just, it's just there for show. But obviously with machine guns being a thing in this game, I don't know, there should be a way to fix that, at least, at least some way. I feel like, I feel like the hard part's making the Warthog, so that, that should be coming in a, in an update. I don't know why he wouldn't continue to perfect this thing, because Halo is boss. And we also have the Flamethrower mod. Look at that sexy little thing. I'm wearing the Cannibal Helmet from the additional Armor Sets mod, because I figured that's the most realistic badass thing. That's, that's probably what I'd do, I'd stick some other fool's face on my face and use him as defense. Insult him further after death. So yeah, there's the flamethrower. There's like that special gasoline that the flamethrower uses. I'd assume something along the lines of like napalm. So here we have it in here. It's this high octane fuel. It's the only thing that could be used to power the flamethrower. Here's all the stuff from the mod pretty much right here. It's just gasoline and gunpowder. Not even difficult to make. The flamethrower is not difficult either. Like it's just a modded out spray painter. That's that's hardcore. I didn't even put that together either when I first saw the little jar in front of it. I just thought they were doing that so it wasn't that difficult making a new item. But he tied it back to it. That's awesome. Of course, for newcomers, we have all this fancy stuff from the additional armor sets mod. But I abuse all of it and I overwear the crap out of all of it. I figured this one's the most realistic and... I don't know, I just kind of wanted to be a dude in my underwear wearing a cannibal scalp. Like, flaming things away. Look at the range on that sucker! Even though we can't see the range for shit where we're standing, and I try and go into third person, you can't until the flame's done. So that's kind of a bummer. The flame does make you instantly hot as hell, and it dehydrates the crap out of you. I'm not dehydrating as quick as I thought I would, but it's still something to take note of. You gotta watch out. You can catch fire, and it does hurt like hell, and the fire does have damage that, like, spreads. If you shoot- if you catch something on fire that's right next to something else, that will catch fire. You could pretty much take over the world with this evil utensil. So I thought it would be fun to get all these together, take my music radio mod, see right down there in the fourth slot in my inventory, put on some heavy rock and roll, and start flaming some dinosaurs. That just sounds badass. First things first, we got it. It's gonna get difficult to drive if it's gonna fly away every time I get near. Alright, there, we're flying, but we're in it. Success. Hell yeah, dude, driving the Warthog. Oh my god. Obviously, loses a good amount of cool points being the, the Warthog lowrider, but, <laughs> but it's the closest thing I got, so I love it, man. I don't even care. Same basic driving, um, uh, uh, navigation skills as the. Well, it pretty much is just the. The, what the hell? I look like I'm having sex with it, not driving it. It pretty much is just the dune buggy just like tweaked out a little. Maybe a little too much. Jesus Christ. I'm not even touching it. <laughs> so that's why I made the sex remark. It doesn't look like we're sitting in the dune buggy like you normally are when you get in this. This is like riding a raptor or something. But when there's nothing there, it's just pure sexual. All right, cool. Sometimes it has really awesome handling. Like right now, it just, it just snapped into super sharp ass handling. I don't know what that's all about, but of course with these glitched ass buggies, as soon as you hit a rock or something, not in this example, it's still perfect, but usually just the slightest thing in your path can, I guess either send you 100 feet into the air or completely send off your turning. It's kind of funny. Is this one capable of killing big dinos? It is! Oh my god, but we go flying as well. That's, are we going to land on a stego? Holy shit, that would be the craziest double kill ever. I'm so ashamed. Oh my god, so you gotta watch out for that. You run into a dino, 
and both of your asses flies across the world. <laughs> it's, it's just like in Halo. No, but not really. What the hell? Yes, it is still brand new. But even something little. Could running over this this poor gal. Come here, I've gotta test something! Oh god, this thing needs heightened suspension specifically for the swamp, let alone how our lower suspension is kinda jacking us over. Will we fly? Nope, not not at all. The one time we don't fly, I'm just trapped in here with the Demorphodon pecking at my skull. But you know what, dude? Even though it doesn't have the best handling and it's the glitchiest thing ever, I still love the shit out of it. Look, things can't even attack you on it. They fly to you, and just by touching it, they die. Look, they're gonna keep coming. Fools. Don't even touch it. Oh my god, that bubble shield? That invisible bubble shield is kicking ass. What is there attacking me now? Okay, let's see how these raptors... Excuse me, sir. You guys know directions to the local liquor store? Alright, see, it's still awesome with defense. The fence is off the limit on this thing. This thing is clean over the fence. Aha, alright. But yeah, we still, you still want to be careful going off any... Oh my god, this is so buggy. This is so buggy right now. Every time I drive a dune buggy, and it bugs out, I want to say this is so dune buggy, but I'm trying to restrain that joke at least five videos apart. <laughs> Before it becomes my slogan. Alright, I just want to find a nice open area with some predators to test out my new flamethrower toy. There we go, we'll drive in first person so it's not as tough to see. Oh my god, that fucker was brought down right in front of us. That was brutal, I'll never get used to that. At least they have the cannibal helmet, helmet completely down. Even though we're like looking left for some reason, that would be blocking your vision. That's the only downside with being a cannibal is rotten teeth constantly blocking your vision. I guess teeth can't rot, can they? Actually, they can, they can rot, what the hell am I talking about? I was like, it's a bone, it's not flesh, it can't rot, but what the hell's a cavity? Alright, where the hell's Eddie? It's like the one time I'm looking for... Seriously? Seriously, I'm gonna need you to be a little more respectful of my feelings right now, Warthog. Jesus Christ, I should have foreseen that! Oh, but on the upside, this should land us in the perfect battle zone. Yeah, we're not doing good. This reminds me of old school Halo 3 when you spray and pray a Warthog with a brute shot and they just go flying off, like spiraling out of control. But there's no brute shot here. Well, holy crap, if this isn't the most beautiful setting to pull over in your Warthog, kick up the jams and start killing things. I don't know what is, man. Put the music right there. Oh no, I do that every time! Oh my god. I go to turn up the audio. Just does not work that way. There's a snake attacking my Warthog. I'm disappointed. Now it has to be powered. The last time I used this mod, it didn't have to be powered. I have to, I have to get a generator in here. Can you get away from- Holy shit! What is happening? I'm on fire! I'm on fire! That's so weird! Can I- Okay, this guy is killing my Warthog now. I'm gonna catch fire. No, 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 no! Okay, see, I'm on fire. I don't take fire damage from the flamethrower, though. What's that about? What's going on there? Because I just took a pull load of damage from those- And eh, no, you don't take damage. You just instantly drop- Oh, no, I'm poisoned. I'm sedated right now. Okay, but then- But then how the hell- What? I'm so confused. Why doesn't the flame do damage to me? I'm on fire right now, and I'm fine, but if that snake- Look, I'm getting thirsty from it. Okay, it's kind of breaking my game a little. See, I get- Maybe that's it. When you're on fire, it's just like, Oh, God, this is making me so thirsty right now. <laughs> I'm just completely flabbergasted by science at the moment. And by these snakes trying to devour my warthog. Oh, my God. That is, that is just madness how you don't take flame damage yet. I need freaking power to hook up my radio, but I can't catch fire. I'm, I'm so confused by the world. I could take dehydration damage, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm getting right now. That's why I have a few canteens. Alright, so that's cool. Take advantage of that while you can, guys, because that is no doubt going to be fixed very soon. Good lord, the flamethrower runs out of ammo quick. What is that all about? Oh my god. No, 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 that one actually might have been on me. I'm the one who ran out there pretty much butt naked to go flamethrower some Demorphodons. It's not the most most intellectual move now that I think about it. I do need to pre-prepare a battle. I'm gonna get a battle stadium going just for things specifically like that so I could already have music hooked up everywhere and already set up because last time I used that mod I didn't need a generator or didn't need to power it. Now you do. Where'd my Wardog just go? Stop it. There we have that super low suspension again. 
But there you have it, guys. The flamethrower does a good amount of damage, but of course it, it's going to catch your ass on fire too and quickly dehydrates you. The flame does spread from creature to creature, which works in your advantage unless you're right next to the creature. Then it's just going to backfire and catch your ass on fire. And then as far as the Warthog goes, it's, they pretty much got the design absolutely down perfect. The suspension's the only error that's the sitting and the inoperative turret. I mean, you put a freaking turret on the back, people are automatically going to want to use it. So I'm just going to put my eggs in all the basket that is working on that because I would be so happy if he did. That would be awesome. I would put this in everything. This would be the first mod to even go on our campaign server. It's not, it's not campaign, it's our survival server where it's just all 100% by the rules. Ooh, another warthog. This is one of those things I could almost see like us having to put in it. By the way, for anybody who's wondering where the series is, Rosie and all them, the server manager should have the server back up in about 5-6 days. I apologize again, I miss them too, but don't worry, they're not, they're not going anywhere. But yeah, if you guys had a good time watching the mods, if you want to download them or in the description, smack that like button, subscribe for more, but of course, have a nice day guys. Peace!